Hello my dear friends and welcome back to Current Electricity and Magnetism. Last time I have already introduced to you this lesson, right? Now let us see what is meant by current and how it is generated. Fine, so current simply means nothing but flow. Okay, the word current means flow flow remember this so whenever the when the water flows from one place to another it is called as water current okay when the wind flows from one place to another it is called as wind current okay now that means what is electric current can you see the word here current and electric so current i have told you it is flow and electric means what electrons flow of electrons means electric current so electric current can be simply defined as the flow of electrons in a conductor now what is that conductor or which substances are called as good conductors of electricity okay those substances or those atoms which have the presence of free electrons in the outermost orbits and the ones which are ready to flow you know from one atom to another they are called as conductors so uh, there are different types of conductors you know they are mostly metals all the metals are called as good conductors of electricity because all of them have the presence of free electrons in their outermost orbit so i hope so you have understood now what is what are these electrons and what are conductors now for uh, these are also called as charges so these are electron these electrons are called as negatively charged particles so in the last video you have learned that only when the charged particles are there within a substance then only it can conduct electricity so there are two types of charges that is one they are static charges that means those charges which cannot move they are remain in one place only or they are steady charges whereas there are other type of charges called as moving charges and moving charges again are two types they are positive charges and negative charges so negative charges are also called as electrons so with this short you know uh, you have to learn these concepts first uh, before learning the further part of the lesson so i hope so you have understood about where are electrons present in which type of substances they are present how they are flowing they are flowing from one atom to another and in this way there will be you know flow of electrons but are uh, these fl uh, these flow of electron simply you know uh, going on or is there current produced in that conductor all the time no my dear students though these electrons are free to move within the substance inside that conductor they are randomly moving but to produce the current of these electrons they require something what is that something they require something called as electromotive force so they require a force called as electromotive force that means the you from this word you can understand what is electromotive electro means electrons motive mean motion and the force which enables this electrons to move that force is called as emf or electromotive force so electromotive force is also called as potential difference or let us first understand what is meant by electric potential so there has to be something there has to be you know for the flow of electron flow flow of charges uh, it has to flow from a region of higher uh, you know potential to a region of lower potential like how you have seen in the case of water current water always flow from a region of higher water level to a region of lower water level same in the case of electric current so electric current also or the charges charged particles will start moving from you know higher potential to a lower potential now let us try to perform a small activity so look at this picture here 
okay you can see that there are two beakers placed at two different levels okay so in the first beaker in the um, let us say that one of the beaker which is on top let that be a beaker a and the one which is kept at the lower level let that be b now you know you have to take a bend tube and you have to fix it to the uh, to both the beakers fine and connect it with the help of a clamp now you will find you know uh, that when you re open the clamp you will find that the water will start flowing from the upper beaker to the uh, beaker which is kept at a lower level fine that means you can imagine here that the beaker uh, beaker a is at higher potential since it is potential also you can say it as a level okay it is at higher level or higher potential whereas the lower beaker is at lower level or lower potential and you will find that the water from beaker a will start moving into beaker b as you can see in this picture so that means uh, what we are talking about is potential and when we have to you know get the electric current or uh, for the flow of electrons there has to be some electric potential and that potential is uh, we can define it as the electric level deciding the direction of flow of electric charges is called as electrostatic potential or simply called as electric potential means what here here the charges or the charged particles will always move from a higher potential to a lower potential so that is the definition of electric potential very simple again i will repeat it is the electric level that decides the direction of flow of electric charges fine and the direction of flow of electric charges is always from a higher potential to a lower potential so i hope so you have understood about what is electric potential now let us move little ahead okay now how this potential difference is uh, how this potential is given to the um, you know conductor or the substance which has the presence of free electrons it is given by electromotive force or a substance which is having uh, you know difference in the potential one should be at a higher level the other it's at a lower level so it means there is a difference between the two level and that difference itself is called as potential difference and it is given by uh, you know uh, what we call it as a cell okay so if you can see over here a cell electric cell has two terminals one is called as the positive terminal and the other is called as the negative terminal so the one uh, the positive terminal is at a higher potential whereas the negative terminal is at a lower potential now let us perform a simple activity to uh, uh, you know to show this that so we can see in this picture that i have placed a uh, you know it's a it is called as the circuit electric circuit so this electric circuit you can see that there are you know there is a conductor in the form of a wire and there is a bulb but is the bulb glowing there so here there is a conductor there will be flow of electrons but then why the bulb is not glowing that means it requires a potential difference now let us see now in another case whether there is potential that means potential difference has to be applied for the bulb to glow so here you can see now here you can see clearly that a bulb is glowing why the bulb is glowing it's because it's because there is presence of an electric cell which is giving electric potential to the or potential difference to the bulb and so the bulb is glowing potential difference sorry potential difference to the conductor and so the bulb is glowing so that means potential difference has to be there for the conduction of electricity or for the current to flow so what does this potential difference means very simple 
okay potential difference not is nothing but the difference between the potentials of the two points here the two points are the positive terminal and the negative terminal so there has to be a difference you know positive uh, uh, terminal will be always at a higher potential whereas the negative terminal will be always at a lower potential now next thing you have to know that from where the current is flowing okay remember dear students current always flows from positive terminal to negative terminal so the direction of the current is from positive to negative whereas the flow of electrons is from the negative to positive why because electrons are negatively charged particles and so they move towards the positive charge so that is why the flow of electron the direction of the flow of electron is from negative to positive whereas the direction of the flow of current is from positive higher potential to lower potential so i hope so you have understood about what is potential different potential there are different words for, for potential difference it is called as you know, Uh, electric potential is also called as emf or electromotive force potential difference is also called as voltage okay you might have heard about this word because it's a very common word so potential difference is also called as voltage remember dear students so potential difference is also measured in terms of volts okay so this is a small word you might have heard before right now let us proceed little further okay now that we have learned what is meant by uh, you know current let us see how current can be measured now you remember students everything is measured and everything every physical quantity is having some uh, unit so let us see what how this current can be measured now you know that the current is nothing but the flow of charges right current is nothing but the flow of charged particles so electrical charge uh, 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 when it is moving you know per unit time that is called that is how we are measuring the current so we need to know what is first charge so electric charge the symbol for electric charge is also q remember this though it is not there in your textbook you are going to study this in standard 9th in detail but remember always that electric charge is also uh, given the symbol is given by letter q fine now what is that electrical uh, you know how that uh, current is measured current is measured you know when electric charge is flowing through a wire in one second at that much a uh, current is also called as unit current so electrical charge flowing through a wire in one second is called as unit current now uh, let us see how can be uh, what can be the formula of electric current okay so uh, in short even i can say what is electric current is um, uh, rate of flow of charges in simple terms it can be also called as rate of flow of charges rate means time so the flow of charges in a given time or in one second that is called as uh, a unit current now current therefore is equal to charge upon time so charge is q and time is given by letter t now let us see what are the units for each one of them current is measured in terms of amperes charge that is q is also given by, uh, uh, by henry coulomb in honor of henry coulomb he was the scientist who had you know studied lots about charge okay quantum electricity that you are not going to know now but you will study it later so in his honor charge unit is also called as coulomb okay and time of course is measured in second so the unit si unit of current is one uh, is ampere that of charge is coulomb and uh, that of time is second so one ampere is uh, also equal to one coulomb of charge in one second so we can say that when uh, one coulomb of charge is flowing in one second we say that that current is one ampere of 
current so i hope so you have understood now about what is meant by current how are the electrons flowing uh, due to what the current is you know can pass through the conductor it's because of the if we supply electric uh, potential or emf or electromotive force and there has to be the potential difference for the current to flow in a conductor then only the current will be flowing remember dear students current always flows from positive terminal to negative terminal whereas the electrons flow from a negative terminal to positive terminal and we have also studied now how current can be measured current is measured in terms of you know the flow of electric charge in one second in a wire so uh, uh, the formula becomes q upon t where q is the symbol for electric charge and t is the symbol for time and si unit of current is amperes uh, uh, and si unit of charge is coulomb si unit of time is second so 1 ampere is also equal to 1 coulomb per 1 second so in the next video you are going to learn about the electric cell and the different types of electric cell so till then students bye and thank you very much